you took a unique uh, path, founder, then VC, and then back to being a founder. What are your experiences from that journey? Was it easy to take the plunge back being a founder? Uh, do you miss being a VC? It's dependent on which day of the week you're asking. <laughs> uh, but look, to be part of a VC, especially large like Pitango, is the fact that you're seeing so many startups, so many great ideas, and you know, they have great teams with a great, you know, ideas. Um, but then after a year, after two years, when you're seeing so many stuff, you're coming and say, okay, they're progressing, they're building what I'm building right now. It's basically nothing. I need to take the right decision on the right team. And no one have a crystal ball as far as if the company is going to be successful or not. Um, and then you're coming and say to yourself, it's about time to build another company. It's always, you know, good to know what the other side is thinking because everyone believes that to be a VC is a very, very easy job. You know, you're sitting in those kind of room, everyone is coming and pitch you, and then you need to have the luxury to choose who you want to work with. But the truth of life that you're working because uh, you can't make mistakes. You need to make sure that you're doing the right decision and it's not end up with making the investment. You need to be involved. You need to make sure that the company is, is working. You need to, to connect them to others. You need to you know, shorter the time to revenue. And then you have another investment. And you need to work with your partnership. And then by the end of the day, if the VC is not successful, we as a company are not going to be, we're not going to see any source of money. So, so you, we need to make sure that those VCs are very, successful because if you were taking a very close look about Israel, I mean, guys, the only thing that we have here in this country is high tech. I mean, we don't have any natural resources or partially. And, and the high tech is basically the, the, the driving is, respo is responsible for major part of our GDP is basically based on high techs. And, 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 and it's like an ecosystem that you need to work together. So was definitely, you know, helping me to understand how the other thing is, other, how the other side is thinking, uh, what are the obstacles that they're facing, and, and, and it's always coming to the point that we are depending on source of fund that will come to companies like us because you can't, you know, we're burning cash like crazy. And, and you don't have any other mechanism. This is pretty much the mechanism that you have. Mm -hmm.